What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time and it's Friday, so you know what that means. It's time to party. So recently I did some vinyl record hunting and some Funko Pop hunting and some boxing and some different bunch of different things. So check it out, here's a recap of the last week or two in a vlog, enjoy. So Minot came to visit me, here we are. Hi. Coming back from Made in Canada, we just had a couple of drinks. How was it? MIC was Made in Canada. That's right, Made in I Canada. Didn't know. Did you like it? Yeah, the beer was good. Ooh, and how's uh, Sudbury been so far? What would you rate Sudbury out of 10? 10. You'd give it a 10, really? Yeah, we, not a lot of fun. I'm not believing this. We went to nightlife yesterday. Oh, well, that kind of makes up for it. And you do have a water, uh, water slide. Water slide. You can yeah, see. let's see if we can turn this around. There's the water slide right there. Now they can see it. Okay. All right, so Mano also brought me a cool little gift, so we're gonna check that out. Cake. I'm really, really excited about a cake. Now you mm -hmm. know, but we won't say what cake. You have to watch the video to find out. It's a very good secret. All right, you kind of see the water slide right here. Yeah. It's a good spot in every hotel. The snack spot. I always love going there at like two in the morning when you just want to eat snacks and you spend like a hundred dollars because it's so expensive in the hotel. Yeah. Oh, mirrors. Wow, that's trippy. Look. Yeah. It's a mirror inside of a mirror inside of a mirror inside of a mirror. Well, that's weird enough moving. That's crazy. Look, there's infinite us's. If there was like a multiverse, there's another that you and another cool me. Picture. Probably really annoying with all this vlogging, but when in Rome, you know? We need vlogs, we need vlog content because I think in the last couple of weeks we wouldn't have, uh, we haven't had good vlogging content. Oh, here we are. Oh, beautiful. I didn't know Sudbury had decent hotel rooms. Decent, decent. I'll try not to show off your stuff here, but. <laughs> Secret cake, well, of course you need alcohol. There's a party with alcohol. Oh, here we go, is this the reveal? Oh my gosh, I'm looking through the lens, but I want to see this thing in front of me. Holy shit. Thank you, Mano. Look how amazing. I don't even want to eat this. I feel bad. You will have to. <laughs> what part should I eat first? This one. Oh, this is amazing. Sincerely, yeah. this is amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to turn off the camera for a second, but I'm going to show you guys. Wow, this is fucking crazy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Here we go. Take a bite of this. We got lots of fondant. Lots of fondant. Mm. <laughs> Holy fuck, I'm tired. I did a dual session today, some cardio, some leg day. Now I'm headed off to do some boxing. I might die today. We'll see you all on the other side. Knock off. Alright, take a look at that. All right, so here we are at Brando's making what we got right here deluxe genuine Italian premium deluxe. Well, not really deluxe because it's my deluxe. little guy here he doesn't eat veggies. He's all screwed up, not thinking clearly. It's true. You, he everybody knows this. Vitamins, but you know what? That's all right. I Why is there no him. chicken nuggets He's on all here? All right, but what we got popping here? Propane, baby, Ooh. propane. Big pizza, big mm. pizza, big treats, Ooh. big taste, good looks. <laughs> Always on top of the ball, the game. We're all playing to have fun. You know what I mean? We're going to enjoy it in a second. We'll show you that in a second. It's going to be delicious. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. I know. I know. Look at that. It's like heaven. Heaven in the palm of your hands. Oh, my God. 
Oh my mm. god. <laughs> <laughs> I, my Matt is Caesar Morasco. Uh huh. There's a ghost. <laughs> Tell us about the ghost, Jess. We need to no. know about the ghost. Now I'm fucking there. I mean, this pizza. It is super what about delicious, the ghost? dude. This tell pizza. Me about is, the ghost. Yeah, we need to know about the fucking I ghost, right? To know about this. Yeah, tell evil us. Evil spirit. More. Yeah. Tell us. Tell us tell the story. Pressure. 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 What's up, everybody? We're back. We're doing some vlogging today. I'm going out to have some fun. I'm going to be looking for some Funkos, maybe some records and whatnot. We'll look around Sudbury, see what's cool, see what's happening here. See if I can find some nerdy and fun things, but we're definitely on the hunt for Funkos. Welcome back to Funko Friday. Let's go. All right, so here I am at Toys R Us, going to be looking at some of the Funkos and some of the cool stuff that they've got in here. Let's take a look. So coming in right off the bat, they do have a lot of these similar ones they had already. They have a flock stitch, which was sold out online. Jerry puppy shirt. Uh, the soup Nazi, I think that's really cool. I love how they couldn't put soup Nazi on there because it probably would have offended a lot of people. They do have the new Fast and the Furious pop. I think that's John Cena's character. Uh, this one's kind of cool. I know these weren't selling well, the Astro Mech Strike or whatever, but a glow in the dark is always cool. I love the uh, Weapon X style Wolverine. Uh, yeah. They got some of the larger Jumbo Pops in. Babu Frick was like the only good thing that I say would come out of Star Wars. And they've got a Jumbo Pop of them. I am tempted to grab that. They've got some of the older Bat one, uh, Batman ones with Alfred Pennyworth. Uh, the movie moments with the little light up Bat signal, which is pretty cool. The Batman and Robin one would be neat. They do have the 1950s Batmobile. 1950s Batmobile, Batman with the Hall of Justice. I am kind of interested in getting the 1950s Batmobile though. I didn't know they had that one. Ooh, actually on the bottom here as well, they got uh, Batman and Robin. The 1989, I believe it was, the Michael Keaton Batman punching the Joker. You wouldn't hit a man with glasses, right? And again, the Batman and Robin. I am kind of curious. I might pick up one of these, I'm not sure. Not a big Pokemon fan, but they've got Bulbasaur, Pikachu, Jumbo sizes. Uh, no chases or anything that I can see though. The Superman one's pretty cool. They also got some kind of neat like Lego mask sets, which is neat. They've got the Batman one. It'd be really cool if it lit up. Over here, Darth Vader. Sweet. I should get that for my nephew. So upon initially looking, it seems like the place has been pretty ransacked. So I'm going to assume that uh, today was a release day and I might have missed out on some of this because you can see that the shelves are completely ransacked. Toys R Us has actually been selling a lot of uh, Funko Shop exclusives so I'm sure people are coming by here to try to find the Funko Shop exclusives which are now coming to Toys R Us. As well, Toys R Us I believe is the only place that can carry uh, Funko sodas so it's going to be coming up for Canada or only in Canada anyway. You can only get Funko sodas in Canada at Toys R Us, sorry. Speaking of the Funko Soda, are they ever locked? They got Bebop, which I do want the blacklight version. I might pick up one of these just trying to get a blacklight version. Uh, Chester Cheeto is kind of cool. He comes in a gold version. It's the last one. I usually like to pick up the last one. Michelangelo is a glow in the dark. We did get the Flash uh, Chase. Scarlet Witch Chase would be cool to have. There's a lot of them. They do have the Iron Mans here, Bebop, and uh, Egon. Egon's kind of cool as well, actually. Looking around here, I'm not seeing anything too, too new. They do have the Rock Special Edition, uh, which is actually kind of cool. I have started collecting the uh, WWE Pops again. I have liked this one for a while. I think he's been here for a while as well, though. The Superman, or Spider-Man, sorry. Spider-Man uh, wooden one. I'm not sure how much these are worth. I'm gonna have to do a price check on them. He is pretty cool, though. Hellbat, which I got a long time ago. But he is a really neat pop. I'll show him off here. I did pick up Hellbat. I got him off of K-Dog and Fish a long time ago, but he's really cool. It's basically like when Batman made his own like Iron Man suit, but it like killed him every time he used it. So I got a race Al Ghul from a Toys R Us previously, and I was gonna pick this one up thinking, oh great, they've got one in good condition because he's worth a lot. And boom, I see why. We'll just put him right there. I'm actually a big fan of the boys, and I know I think these are on for sale for $10 right now, so I'm gonna see what I can grab for 10 bucks. I really like the translucent pop. I love all translucent looking pops. I don't know why, I just think they, they're really cool. I thought of maybe picking up a board game. 
that we could possibly play uh, quietly. Maybe we could do uh, a live stream of a board game or something like that. I really hope I don't get a copyright strike for these music uh, things they're using in the background. All right, so now we're headed to one of the most confusing places, Chapter Slash Indigo. I don't know which one to call it. I think one's a website and one's the actual store. Uh, I don't know. I know I'm gonna get hit with a copyright for the music in this store, but something I didn't expect to find in Chapters was vinyl. Very, very, very cool though. All right, so here we are in the Funko Pop section. Uh, we've got some new stock since I've been in a lot. Sorry about that, somebody came to ask if I need any help, but I'm all good. Looking at some of the concept Ralph McQuarrie Pops, I might pick up the Yoda today. It's actually unfortunate because they've got some good Pops like this one here, but it's pretty damaged, which seems to be the case with a lot of these. Taking a lot of more of the boys Pops, but they're all, all damaged. It's really unfortunate. I found Translucent, but he's on sale at Toys R Us for $10 right now, so I won't pick him up here. Also, their sticker placement, not a great idea for collector's items. So back in the graphic novel section, they got some really cool books, including the Infinity War, which is really neat. Uh, some sm uh, Spider-Man ones, Marvel Encyclopedia, Star Wars Darth Vader, that looks really cool. The Motherload of Batmans, which is amazing. Uh, I can already see some that I'm very interested in, including Deceased and, where is it? Blackest night. I want to read it very badly. And we're back. So hopefully you enjoyed some of that. A little bit of craziness, a little bit of randomness. So I'm going to show you off some of the things I grabbed. We'll start off with the records, first of all. So Record Store Day just recently passed, and I picked up myself this exclusive Matrix soundtrack exclusive vinyl. I said that twice. Anyways, it's really, really cool. It is a trans parent green with diamond glitter kind of sparkle in it. So I'll show you that in just a second as I open it here, but it's really, really cool. It only one in the store, so I'm really happy that I was able to grab it. So the inside cover is really cool with some of the artwork from the movie itself, but the packaging is also really nice with this black kind of finish here. And here is the record itself. Ooh, fancy. I don't know how well you can see that there or see the little uh, glitter or diamond in it, but it is a very cool record and I am very glad that I own this limited edition. You know, I figured since this channel is about collectibles and variants, I might show off uh, a bunch of random different things and hopefully you guys enjoy that too. To be honest, I don't even think you have to be a big record collector to really enjoy this because some of these just look super awesome the way they match up the artwork with the uh, vinyl itself. Next is something a lot of you might not recognize unless you were kind of uh, punk or hardcore fans in the year 2000s-ish, which is the Alexis on Fire Monin Switcheroo, which are two bands I actually had the pleasure of uh, playing live with. So I had to pick up a copy of this and it's a really neat color. If you take a look at the artwork here, the vinyl itself matches and that makes it super awesome. So we'll take a look here. So we have the inner sleeve with the printed uh, artwork on there, which is really cool with the heart skull mixed in with the butterflies. So it's Monin and Alexis on Fire kind of mixed together. And you have this beautiful, beautiful pinwheel, orange, black, and red semi-transparent uh, record. I do have the black version of this record, but I really, really wanted to own this version of it. I think this is one of the coolest looking records uh, that I own personally, and I'm so, so stoked to have grabbed both versions. I was thinking of making a video on black versus colored vinyl because I heard that there might be a slight difference. So if you wanna see uh, that video, let me know in the comments and leave a thumbs up and I'll definitely do it. Gosh darn it. Sometimes because of static in the air, it's really, really hard to put these things away. There we go, there we go. Half the bloopers are probably just me trying to put these damn records away. Steady, steady, this thing, ah, success, finally, jeez. All right, so now we've got The Offspring, Conspiracy of One, also a great record. Uh, it also came with a slip mat, which is on my record player right now, and I'm too lazy to show you, but it's really cool. It's pretty much just this as a slip mat, but the record itself also matches the artwork, so let's take a look at it right now. Super, super cool. So they've got this uh, printed sleeve. It says OP on the top. I'm not exactly sure what this stands for. It's some kind of guy on a, a screw. I don't know if it's somebody they know or an inside joke or something. I'm just not getting, that's obvious. When you open it up here, you've got another kind of 
splatter pinwheel with this yellow transparent with the red and the blue center tag, which is really cool and amazing looking record. It's really neat when you watch these kind of spin around like that really quick. Uh, the design is just really cool and that's where you get to really see the artwork in motion. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy it. So this one's super cool to own and I'm glad I grabbed it. It was actually on Amazon and I think there's still a few left if you want to grab them. Uh, that's Amazon Canada anyway. And last but not least, we've got Silver Chair Frog Stomp. This is an oldie goldie, uh, one from my, when I was in elementary school and I absolutely love it. It is a dual record, so there are two different uh, LPs in here, but it is absolutely amazing, so let's take a look. So it does just come in a plain Jane white sleeve, but the record is really cool, kind of this blueberry raspberry jelly mix, half and half transparent red and blue. It is really cool, especially when it spins. The one side is the red frog, the other being the blue. Each frog is supposed to represent a member of the band, so it was really cool. And there is one more to look at, so let me just pull that one out here. So unfortunately, when I received this one, it actually came folded. There was a little bit of a crease in here, which sucks for something that's limited edition like this. But anyways, let's take a look, because here you go. You got the green and orange transparent uh, logo, and it's actually got the frog. I don't know if you can see that, but the frog is actually indented somehow on the record on the non-playable side, as there's nothing on this side. But it's a really cool record, actually one of the coolest that I own. I know I say that often, but it's because I'm always blown away by the abstract art uh, that's created. When you buy colored variant records, they're all gonna look different, that's the cool thing. So it really is, in an odd sense, one of one. So now we're, so now we're moving into Funko Friday portion of things. So let's take a look at some of the grabs I've seen. You've seen me at Toys R Us, and I actually had to grab something that I've wanted for a long time. I don't know how I kind of overskipped this one, but here we go. I picked myself up Krang. Krang from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's a special edition. I'm very, very happy to own it. This pretty much completes my collection for the Ninja Turtle uh, vinyls that came out semi-recently. There are a second wave of them coming out, so I'll have to grab those as well. But I really love this one. I was so, so happy I could pick it up. I'm gonna put it on my TMNT arcade and it's gonna look badass there. So this next pop is a birthday gift, an early birthday gift from Derek, so thank you so much. It is a Chalice Collectibles exclusive Darth Maul from the Clone Wars, where he's actually got the robotic legs. He's holding his half lightsaber and the dark saber, which is really, really cool. Taking a closer look at it there. I I love his robotic legs. It's actually a metallic look as well. They took a lot of time to put detail into this. I'm glad that his uh, lightsabers aren't bent. A lot of the uh, pops that I've got with lightsabers usually come bent and that really sucks. So he looks pristine and mint and I am so, so happy to add this one. It was actually a lot cooler in person uh, than I thought it would be to be honest. All right, so it's not a Funko Friday unless we have a soda vinyl to see if we can get the soda vinyl chase. I picked up Chester Cheetah because I have a thing. If it's the last one on the shelf, I have a feeling that it just might have been the last one in the box and we might get the chase. So let's see, let's try and open up this one sealed right here. Let's take a look. I believe it's a glow version. So it's kind of hard to tell right out of the, uh, the soda itself whether it's um, gonna be the chase or not, but we'll see. Uh-oh, I kind of peeled it in a really awkward way. Now it's gonna be hard to remove this. Let's see if we get the chase. Let's open her up. Ooh, that was a nice little sound. Okay, so here we go. I don't like to look inside because the fog's in there. It'll reveal it and ruin it. Here we go. I like putting it down so we both can't see. Although, like I said, I don't, I don't think it matters in this case. Fun fact, I don't even like Cheetos, but I had to get this pop. So here we go. It is. I don't know if it's the chase or the regular. Let's take a look. It looks cool either way though. Actually, like uh, orange is my one of my favorite colors. Lime green is slowly creeping up there, but he looks cool either way. So let's see, do we get the chase? No, we got the common, but either way, I'm still stoked. Actually, he's really cool. I think I'm gonna, I know where I'm gonna put him. I got a little place for him. He's actually gonna be on display, unlike many of my other soda vinyls. So anyways, that's a wrap up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll join me next week. I'm actually gonna be doing some live gaming surprise after this. So check it out and join me there. See ya, have a great night.